Hello, good morning. It is Wednesday, so I'm starting a new reading vlog. I will be reading... Honestly, I don't know yet. I'll let you know once I've decided. I just wanted to quickly do this intro before I go to the doctors, because it's gonna take all day today. So yeah, it might be Leviathan Wakes, it might be the Poppy War, or it might be a reread. I don't know yet. We'll see how I feel emotionally before I go to leave for the doctors, because I'm gonna need a book for that whole time. So, wish me luck. And yeah, I'll catch you when I actually have stuff to update you on that's not just the introduction. So I keep trying to read Serpent and Dove to finish it, but I just hate it every time I pick it up, like I got past the sex scene and now I just don't care. So I might for real DNF it at this point. Good morning! So I decided that I'm gonna hate myself fully and do a <laughs> Sarah J Mass reading vlog. So I'm starting Throne of Glass again, and um, I don't have many thoughts. I'm just mainly here because my package for Milkweed is finally here. I'm excited, and I'm going to open for you. open it on camera. Ah. So yeah, I started Throne of Glass last night, and I'm not... So the beginning is very confusing for me because the beginning of Throne of Glass is actually pretty entertaining and engaged, like intriguing to the point where I'm like on chapter three and I have no problem turning the pages. I think the problem for me actually comes like by book four is when I start to start not really enjoying what's going on. And so I'm hoping that this time when I read it, I'll do Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, the the Assassin's Blade like novella bind up, and then I'll go into Air of Fire, and hopefully, I understand. <laughs> so it says, Kayla, thank you for supporting Milkweed and Robin's beautiful work. This is in oh my gosh! Okay, so I'll show you the original just so you can see. Okay, I'll show you the original, just so you can see the difference between the two. But look at this! There's even a... <gasps> oh, there's a little... Oh, I love this. Oh, even the back is different. Okay, so the back of this is... I could hand you a braid of sweet grass as thick and shining as the plate that hung down my grandmother's back, but it is not mine to give nor yours to take. Wingashk belongs to herself, so I offer in its place a braid of stories meant to heal our relationship with the world. I'm so excited to get into this after I finish Kitsunak. It's so pretty. Thank you, Milkweed, for granting me this book after I asked for it. It means the absolute world to me to have this. Oh my goodness. I also wanted to do like a quick update. 
So yesterday, I didn't read anything. Not a single thing. Because I was busy traveling and going to doctor's appointments. And then I also got news that I ended up getting a job that I interviewed for earlier this week. And so that means I'm finally hired. Since April, I've been jobless. So this is such an amazing... Ah! <laughs> so when I came home, obviously I was very excited and I was hanging out with Felix and we were just, we were just doing things that required attention for each other and not, it wasn't a, a night where I could just go and read. So outside of like reading the first few chapters of Throne of Glass, that's all I've done. Um, and that's, <laughs> that's all I can do about it. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Milkweed, again. I'll see you when I have actual reading thoughts outside of like the first three chapters. Hello, it's now Friday. I have reached finally the 100 page mark on Throne of Glass, so I'm making progress there. I am enjoying it, but I do notice how kind of annoying Sarah J. Mass's writing is. But in comparison to some of the other books I've read this year now, I can say that Throne of Glass is probably a three star. Um, not the one like I put it, I think, on Goodreads right now. I don't know how I'll feel about the rest of this series as it goes on, but as I'm reading it, I can pick up things that I didn't pick up the first time, which is why I wanted to reread it, even though I had such a visceral reaction to the series as a whole. I wanted to give it a fair shot because I don't always read my first read through because I read so quickly and I just want to know like the big things that happen to the characters that I'm invested in. And that's definitely what I did here. So now I'm actually trying to pay attention. All that for me. I'll be back when I have more thoughts outside of I'm still finding Sarah J Mass's writing clunky. I mean like I can definitely say that Crescent City feels less clunky than Throne of Glass which I should hope so because Throne of Glass was her debut debut and not like adult debut so I don't know it just depends. Some people don't find her writing good at all and that's completely valid but I find it better than surprisingly Serpent and Dove so who would have thought? Okay, so it's only been a couple of pages, but I just wanted to say she has a real... She really enjoys certain words, and they pop up throughout, like, all of her books. Like, just now, we found one of the bodies of the champions, and they're like, his body was in ribbons. And I just remember how important, like, the ribboned body was, and, like, the slumped body was in Crescent City, and I was like... Things haven't changed that much, I see. Understood. Okay, so I'm now on chapter 23 of Throne of Glass. I think I'm almost 50% in. Um, and I just have, like, a few a few things to say about Kale, because I fucking hate this man. Um, he's a whole 22 years old, and he can't comprehend that uh, Selena is a human being who may not have been deserving of all the punishments she received while in a slave mine. Um, and he's just like big dumb and I don't, I don't like him. I still don't understand why she got with him in book two. Spoiler. But it's not like the final person Selena ends up being with, so it's not really a spoiler. Or maybe it is. I don't know. If you're one of the few people that likes Kale, I'm sorry for you. Mainly because you like Kale. Um, it, but yeah, so I remember in one of the earlier chapters when Selena is running with Kale. And she's vomiting and he's just like watching her. And he starts like asking all these invasive questions. And she's like answering him honestly for whatever fucking reason. I couldn't tell you why. And she name drops Arab and Hamill and she's like, yeah, he broke my hand to make me 
where he made me break my own hand so that I would become better at, uh, like, swordsmanship with my left hand instead of just my right hand. And she was like, did your master ever make you do that? Because he's, like, the captain of the guard, and so he had, like, a weapons master that taught him, etc. And Kale was like, no. And then I guess he didn't really think much else about it, and then asked her about, like, her like whipping scars as well as if that's not like a deeply personal thing and then just like completely treats her like shit the next time he sees her and like talks about her as if she's like some monster that's like crazed and is like on a murderous rampage when in fact she's proven time and time again that she doesn't want to kill and she like goes out of her way to like avoid death she fucking saved Knox from dying and he's still like this annoying and i'm just confused i also just am glad that uh because i remember the first time i read it i thought dorian and selena might end up together and i was like hmm i don't like it but selena was straight up like no i'm not here for your amusement and your adrenaline rush find someone else and i'm pretty sure it stays like that the rest of the book and if not I think maybe they kiss like once maybe I'm not too sure but I'm glad that's like all it stays at because like what a mess that would have been and like not a good one maybe I'm just partial because I know who she ends up with and I like that person more but mm, whatever back to Kale he's trash I think it's so stupid also the way that like Dorian and Kale reacted to Nehemia and Selena playing, or like, not playing, but like practicing sword stuff together was so sus. I was like, bro, why are you so fragile? Anyways, I've just spent like almost four minutes bitching about two men that ain't shit. So maybe I'll take a break <laughs> and keep reading and I'll come back once I have more notes. Oh no, I'll... Back to the Arab and Hamel bit that I was mentioning. So she like brought it up when she was vomiting and he didn't say much about it. And then all of a sudden, the next time they're talking, she just drops Arabin this time because she's already introduced him by full name. So obviously she doesn't need to do it again. And then Kale is like, Arab and Hamel, that was your master? And she was like, yeah, I told you. And it's like, bro, do you just like, talk to hear yourself talk why are you going to spend like lunch with her if you don't already see her as a person why are you going to like spend time with her to get away from the stress if you don't see her as a person why are you talking to her like this I don't I've literally only read a few pages more but it's the part where Kale is like oh yeah you can go to like the temple but you can't come to the feast and I remember specifically that everyone else was allowed to go to the feast even Cain so is it ever explained or like talked about why Selena was the only one who wasn't invited because that just seems misogynistic to me the way I just keep talking as it and I was like oh, I think I'll be fine this book is fine I won't have much to say oops <laughs> Benji, where is it? <laughs> Benji! Oh. <laughs> 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 
Okay, so I finished Throne of Glass last night. And I forgot to talk about it this morning, so it's now late afternoon and... <laughs> Oops, I started Crown of Midnight. My final thoughts on Throne of Glass. I gave it a three star. I thought it was, like, okay. I still... Like, I like Selena as a character, but I feel like by Kingdom of Ash, she feels like a caricature of herself. And that I didn't like. Um, so maybe that's why my opinions feel so sour. But I also don't like Kale. He's, like, so judgmental and, like, doesn't listen. As I mentioned earlier, um, they, like, ate... <laughs> Selena and Kale had like heart to hearts and he was still like treating her like a monster and like if he is able to tell the difference between when she's like pretending and when she's like actually being herself and why can't he see her as a human being capable of like love and respect don't get that I also am not ready for the Kale and Selena romance I didn't really like Dorian and Selena together. I think Dorian's just like a spoiled prince who just wanted an adventure, like Selena said. <laughs> and I feel like that's exactly why he ended up with who he ended up in Kingdom of Ash. You can see it coming a mile away. There was no way that um, that fire bitch was gonna last long. She was too nice, too easy, too boring. Um, but this isn't about those books. This is about Throne of Glass. I liked how I was able to see a little bit more of the foreshadowing for, like, the later books um, in regards to, like, Erwin and stuff. Because my first read through, it felt like it kind of just came out of left field and I wasn't really expecting it. But this time, I was like, oh yeah, I can see it now. I can see where this is going. I understand. Okay, I'm actually reading it this time, it seems. So yeah, it's a three star. I, it was okay. That's all I have to say about it, really. And yeah, I had a really busy week this week. I went to the doctors, I went to the dentist, I had an interview, I got a job. And now today's Halloween and I am doing like a group Zoom call and having fun with friends. So that'll be fun. And vlog for Crown of Midnight. And I'm on chapter five, I think, now. I really like Selena still. Kale is like Kale. Dorian is still dumb and questionable. But it's okay, because I know what's happening, so I'm just taking my time and reading it. So I will be sure to update you when I have more shit to say about plot and writing and stuff like that. Bye. Okay, so I'm on chapter 19 of crown of midnight now and it's it's going i feel like i would be having less fun if i wasn't listening to it um i already know what's happening so i'm just kind of like listening to get it over with because this book is okay but it's not one of my favorites book three is probably my favorite but i can't read that until i finish the assassin's blade after this because apparently I need to read the Assassin's Blade, which pisses me off. I think I'll do it so like this vlog will include Throne of Glass, the Assassin's Blade, and Crown of Midnight. No. Thank you. Sorry, my dog just tried to take my hair tie. <laughs> so I think I'll try Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass, and Crown of Midnight for this vlog, and then the next one will be Air of Fire, Queen of Shadows, and Empire of Storms, then I'll do Tower of Dawn and Kingdom of Ash. Just planning out my videos for you. Felix died on cams, did he, Rob? Someone's playing Among Us in this household, and it's not me. Oh, he farted! You smell so bad, dude! You're so small. Oof. You okay? Yeah, you okay? Ooh, big stats.
<laughs> so yeah, I am listening. Book two is more of a passive thing for me because I know what's gonna happen to Nehemia. I don't don't really care about Kale. I don't really care about Dorian. I'm just waiting for Selena to leave the continent, basically. And it is what it is. The writing is the same. The, don't mind my dog, he will be in and out of focus. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Which is sad, considering oh, I I'm like 150 pages in and I don't have much. Joke. <laughs> <sighs> considering I don't have much to say, I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> you just farted! So loud! I hope I got that on camera. Yes! You're so stinky! Okay, yeah, yeah I don't... <laughs> I feel like it's unfortunate that I don't have much to say on page 150 out of 400 because I should, but whatever. Except like somebody who is starved of Nigerian references. <laughs> out of the sun um so last night i read finished crown of midnight i am annoyed that nehemia was like a martyr from the get-go still i am annoyed with kale and his judgmental ass dorian is like less annoying this book but still pretty annoying because he's like oh simping for selena and i just <laughs> And so after finishing that, I was feeling pretty good. So I was like, I'm actually enjoying this world right now. So let me pick up The Assassin's Blade, the prequel novella bind up thing. And I read that early, like from midnight on <laughs> and to like basically 9.30 this morning. Cause I haven't changed my clocks yet because of daylight savings. But so yeah, I finished. The Assassin's Blade, I gave it two stars. I gave Throne of Glass and Crown of Midnight three stars each. Um, it's just simply okay. The prequel, I have more negative thoughts about. I really just wanted it to be over the entire time I was reading. I wasn't really invested in anything. I'm annoyed that I am required to read a prequel just to be able to grasp what goes on in Queen of Shadows. I am annoyed that I have to read the prequel in like, like I can't just go back after finishing the series and reading a prequel because that's what I like to do with prequels because usually it gives away spoilery stuff and I don't want that but that's not how this series works apparently. So yeah, um, I'm annoyed and I just, yeah, I don't understand why this prequel is a thing the way it is. I'm <laughs> so annoyed with it, uh, but I've done it. I read it and I don't know, I feel like I'm going to feel the same about uh, Tower of Dawn because I don't like Kale and Irene... In, was introduced in the Assassin's Blade, but like, it was so brief, I didn't really care. <sighs> I don't know. I don't. Uh... The Assassin's Blade was alright. Crown of Midnight was alright. Um, I can definitely see the threads being woven for the later books. <laughs> 
again in this book, which is what I was hoping for because on my first read through I didn't pick up this shit, so clearly I just needed to comprehend it a little bit better. <laughs> But yeah, so I, I'm having like a fun time with it. Throne of Glass, the series has completely derailed my weekend reading plans. And that's okay. I finished two books in less than 24 hours. No, three books in... So I finished Throne of Glass Friday. Finished Crown of Midnight. No, so I finished Throne of Glass yesterday morning. I finished Crown of Midnight last night, and then I finished The Assassin's Blade this morning, and I might just finish Air of Fire today, but that's for a different vlog, so you'll have to tune in next time to see what I have to say then. But with that, I will say goodbye. Leave me dual sword emojis for Selena, because you know that bitch loves her two swords. Um... Links and stuff will be in the description for different organizations and um, issues going on that need awareness. So yeah, check it out down below and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.